Good morning, you guys. Today is Monday, and my hair is sticking up like I just left a party. Um, anywho, I'm getting ready to film some content for a K-pop band, actually. Hopefully, all works out. I don't normally like to talk about the partnerships that I do until I've done them, just because... I don't know, there's just something more rewarding about being able to say, it's done, I did it, than to say, this is what's happening, you know what I mean? So, right now, I'm just about to go over the agreement, because I'm supposed to submit it today, but obviously, given that we're in two different countries, completely different time zones, and at not atmospheres, but hemispheres, I think is what it's called, <laughs> um, we've been off. You know, so I'm just going to go ahead and complete this, then send over the content. And pretty much all it is, is I'm outfit of the day, basically. Pause. Okay. Oof. It looks super dark. It looks super dark. Okay. Hopefully the camera adjusts. I've literally moved everything. I moved everything. I moved... The couch <laughs> I moved this mirror from our bedroom which I think I'm just gonna leave out here because it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to pick back up on my outfit content um and y'all so this is how the video is gonna go I'm in my pajamas I zoom in close to the mirror and my outfit changes right I step back away from the mirror and show my outfit like the pieces of it um, really easy concept. I think not, not overthinking is a blessing in this case. And I'm definitely putting on lotion. Well, this isn't lotion. This is a moisturizer. But I'm definitely putting on lotion because having hydrated, lubricated skin is a big part of making sure I look good on camera. You love feeding my ego just to call me oh wow But I'm still ten toes if you need something I'll be down So this is the dress Super cute I'm gonna turn it down because I'm like obviously I need to be able to talk to y'all So I was thinking this dress and then, I don't know if I'm going to do the blazer yet. I might just do, like, just have it over me. Because part of the content said not to be too revealing, you know. And then I also have to hide the buttons because the buttons are gold and the bag that I'm carrying is silver. Which, you know what? Actually, I can switch to a gold bag. I'm going to get a gold bag. Aren't they cute? So freaking cute. One of them I haven't even carried because, I mean, I need somewhere to go, right? <laughs> anyway, this was the one that I was going to use because I feel like it's on trend right now with the tassels. When I got it, I got it when, um, when I got it, Beyonce was touring and I was like, oh, this is cute. Like, th this reminds me of what everybody's doing with their outfits. Only dilemma though is, is that it's not gold. So if I happen to turn a certain way, you know, with the freaking, with the blazer buttons, it's going to be, you know, you're going to see that I have I'm mixing metals. And I personally don't care about mixing metals, but I know some people really, really do. My other option I was thinking is this, obviously the bag that I haven't carried yet. Um... I don't know, but part of me feels like, I feel like it doesn't go, or maybe it's too much because I've got the drape here, and then this sort of drapes, but that might, that might not be bad. That might not be bad at all, actually, because it's, it's super feminine, it's sparkly, and I also haven't posted it on my page, so there's that. But this is cute, right? Y'all let me know. I also haven't worn this dress anywhere, so there's that. And then I'm going to style my hair up in the clip because y'all know me. This is how I be styling my hair, y'all. I 
literally just make a mess of my head. Sometimes I don't even use a brush. I just use my fingers. Very anime character. I know lip gloss is one of those things where it's like, nobody's gonna notice that you do or don't have on lip gloss in an outfit of the day video. But I feel like if I put on enough, you gonna see it. So, these are the shoes. I'm always wearing these freaking shoes. But you know what? There's no point in having clothes that I'm not gonna wear. There's absolutely no point. There's no reason, there's no rhyme. You know, <sighs> I look cuckoo. The glasses really do hold the little hair pieces. I love that, I love that. But anyway, so I am done as far as I know. I'm going to leave the house this way for a few hours because I did just send the video over to them. Um, and you know, I think it's supposed to be posted on TikTok. I don't know. I think I'm the one posting it and they're like advertising it or, or um, what is it called? White, white something it where that basically means that companies will pay to push your content. They'll pay the platform. So um, I probably don't need to leave my house looking cuckoo. I'm gonna take out this outfit though because baby, she's cute. But she's one of those sit down, be still outfits. This is not one of them. Like, I got this dress because I wanted to dance in it. But how can you dance when you can't move your arms? You know what I'm saying? That or maybe I got it too small. I don't know. Anyway, that's what's going on. Um, I also need to eat. And I need to take these dogs to go use the bathroom. <sighs> but one thing I will say... This is where the couch normally is, right? It's over there, but being able to move my couch out of the way, I love it. Made me want it, um, it makes me want to replace the couch with a love seat. And I know y'all probably like, why would you do that? Because a love seat don't sit a lot of people. Like, it's just two people. Well, it's just two people in this house. And we don't really get visitors like that. Like, we get our nieces, but they don't stay over like they used to because they're getting older and they got stuff to do which i definitely don't mind but it just to me it just would make more sense because then it, we would have more space and it would be easier to film content among other things i know damien wants to put a desk right here but i'm like a love seat only thing is getting rid of this couch and this is a really nice couch it's a good couch um, it would definitely have to be reupholstered to the max, talking, you know, the, the filling, the fabric and all that, but it's a really good couch. Um, I, I would like a love seat, a love seat with a little ottoman that you pop your legs up on if you want to, or maybe even one that reclines. I don't know, but I, I would like something not as wide as this couch or long, not as long as this couch. Let me go change y'all. I look, I look good. Uh -huh. This dress, by the way, is from Opali. It was overseas, shipped from overseas. It took a while to get here, um, but that might just be because I'm an impatient American. Uh, but the quality is really freaking nice. Ooh, let me not flash y'all. The quality is really freaking nice, and every time I put it on, I'm I'm happy. I'm very happy. I did. They are true to size, though. I will say that. Y'all, I thought something was wrong with my freaking camera just now because this light right here. God. Anyway, I don't think, or maybe I did tell y'all. I went and I took some pictures um, for Diff because they sent me these beautiful glasses. There's another pair I have to take pictures in. But, and this might sound silly, but I really think I should go get, like, a fake fur coat for these pictures. That's doing too much. Anyway, I wish I still had my fur coats. I don't even know where they are, but I wish I still had them because they would have been so perfect for this. So perfect. Um, but let me show y'all what I wore. So just this dress. It's, like, zebra print. At least that's what I think it is. Zebra print dress. And I don't know where it's from. Hold on. Let me 
me look at the tag, y'all. Let me look at the tag. Okay, so the first sizing is in European sizing. So I'm assuming my sister either either bought this from somewhere random or she ordered it. Um, long story short, my sister got this dress for my niece. I said, mm-mm, she's too little for that. Saved it, and then I took it. Uh, I use it to take pictures of these sunglasses. And these are so cute. And y'all know, typically I don't really wear color that often. I like to say I don't wear it at all, but I really don't wear it that often. So this was really, really cute. I do plan to wear this outside. I don't know where. But I'm going to wear it outside somewhere with these sunglasses. I didn't put on any makeup, and the photos came out just fine. Because <laughs> what I do is, is I will set up my camera... And I'm using my front camera because I don't have no help, okay? And I'm not trying to be struggling for no hour outside. So I use my front camera. I put it in 4K, 60 frames per second, and I set myself up, and I use a video. And in the video, I'm just it's just me posing, you know, and I don't hold the pose for too long because I'm basically just going to scroll through the video and screenshot the poses that I like. So that's what I did. Um, look out for that. Look out for that. And then I made a cute little video out of the video. So I'm going to show y'all. Because I feel like, look at how cute they turned. Girl, it's not giving high-end professional, but it's giving good enough with an iPhone. Period. And let me show y'all. So this video specifically, um, in the caption, I'm talking about just how much I've grown emotionally because I have not cut off my hair. Here, let me finish saving this draft before it disappears. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited I have some gosh darn content too. Anywho, so yeah, what I was saying was, is, here, let me... Let me grab a snack and then we can chat. <laughs> okay, can y'all see me? My body is so mad at me right now. Like, I can feel myself. I probably just made myself sick, but I decided to drink some green juice. Let's see if my camera will focus. My camera does not want to focus. There you go. Some green juice um, because I haven't eaten and it is 2 o'clock. By the way, this is cucumber, cucumber, spinach, kale, and I think I had one green apple. Back to what I was talking about. My hair. My hair is symbolic of my mental health in some part because... Y'all know, I used to shave my head all the time. And I loved being bald. I loved cutting my hair because it was convenient for me at the time. Not just, you know, for being on the go. But also, whenever I was not where I wanted to be, you know, in certain situations. And my mind was just ready to spiral. Shaving my head was the biggest relief. It was... Like taking an enormous weight off of my shoulders, off of my back. And I always felt so much better. Or I would always think, well, at least I don't have to deal with my hair. Because my hair, if you know, you know. I feel like this may or may not apply to most women. But I know as a black woman, dealing with my hair has been a lot. A lot. It's just, whether it's outside people telling me what my hair should look like or what's good and what's bad or me wanting something that I can't accomplish because I don't have a certain hair texture or just having to do it myself in general so much so anyway say that to say I'm very proud of myself my goal is to get my hair down my back and I'm pretty sure I can accomplish it unless something happens but we're not going to encourage that kind of activity in my life so i'm gonna drink this green juice i've accomplished a lot today i should have took y'all outside to take pictures of me but low-key i don't want to be showing people where i take my pictures because i'm not worried about being copied or nothing it's just there's weirdos in the world and weirdos have no gender so 
I can assume that my viewers are going to be less likely to be weirdos. That's my piglet. That's my piglet. Hey y'all. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. Let me lay Nelly up. Like I was saying, today is Tuesday, Tuesday, and this morning, got up, Damien made me breakfast, which was really nice of him, shout out to you, and I went to the gym, and I did arms, I was not really feeling arms, I think my, my back, my shoulders, like all of my upper body is pretty much not in use as much as I would like for it to be, so I have to work on it. Let me know any workouts that you like to do for your arms, chest, upper body. Um, but I just finished my cousin's nail. She's going to Cancun. Look at how cute. I'm just supposed to. Because her nails is icy. Icy. Yes, honey. Um, and now I'm hungry, y'all. So... I'm gonna make you do what it do, baby. Um, let me see. But I just wanted to check in and let y'all know that I'm still here. I'm, I'm still here, here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna eat. The weather outside is not cute, and I'm feeling. I don't know. I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. I I love my cousin's nails. I think they turned out really, really beautiful, and I'm having a good day. So. A win is a win. A win is a win. I do need to do my own nails though. Cause look at my nail. A mess. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> Good morning. Wait, is it morning? Good afternoon. Oh my God, time flies. Um, Today is... <laughs> today is... Wednesday the 28th um I did not go to the gym today I didn't go to the gym instead I decided to film a couple of makeup videos because I hadn't really recorded anything this is it got messed up <laughs> there we go this is what I recorded on my eyes I'm not absolutely in love with it but I think I did good for somebody who's trying to sort of reignite that love for all the colors and things like that because ooh, hold on y'all I have definitely been one of the neutral girlies the thing? yeah so I decided to film some makeup videos and I did this look I also tried that, um, what is that thing called? I also tried that blush that I got re received, that I got received. <laughs> I tried that blush that I received from One Size Beauty, the pink one. I don't know if y'all can tell though. I feel like in this lighting, it's not super obvious. Like I can see it in my mirror that's over there, but on camera, I feel like it's not super obvious. I don't wear pink blush. I, I'm pretty sure I told y'all that. So this is kind of new for me. Anytime I wear pinks, it's usually mixed with bronze, um, a brown, a gold, or orange tones is the only time you'll see me in something that is slightly pink. Like Hush Tone from MAC, I love that blush. It's not really pink, but it's as close to pink as I've gotten to wearing in years. Um, then I did my little clips i don't think they match on both sides but it's okay i don't care <laughs> and i haven't eaten yet and i'm trying to get out of the habit of doing that when i don't work out so i'm eating now i had a cookie because look what damien got not one but two boxes for me knowing very well i don't got no business eating these and not because I'm afraid to gain weight or this, that, and the third. It's because the sugar. The sugar does things to me. 
and um so i had a cookie yesterday and i think i had one the day before and i'm that's my cutoff okay because i like to have my ice cream at the end of the day anywho making myself a burrito i'm gonna throw a little bit of egg in there and i've been making eggs with um I saw on Instagram somebody was making eggs with heavy whipping cream, so I've been doing that too. You basically just oil or butter your pan a little bit, not a lot. Pour this in there, then throw the eggs in there. Season the eggs, add whatever you want to them. And for whatever reason, it's been working for me. It's not my, like my tummy doesn't hurt when I eat the eggs. I do season them pretty heavily because sensitivity to the egg in general. Um, but yeah, I've been doing that. So, and then you guys guess what? I feel like I'm telling y'all a lot right now. I feel like this is a lot of information. I ordered my old camera. So, if you don't know, I had two Nikon D3500 cameras and one kit lens kit about two years ago. And I had had them since I was maybe 19, 20. I don't know. I don't know. Long story short, I sold them because I wasn't using them. And I thought, oh... You know, I was sad, if I'm being completely honest. I was sad because I felt like nobody cared about pictures anymore. And that was something that I was really, really good at, in my opinion. Um, taking pictures of my eyeshadow looks and, you know, obviously posting them. And showing the details. And that was just so much fun for me. And I kind of got away from it because I was doing lifestyle content. And then Instagram launched their Reels, which I'm not going to hold you. Reels is cool, but I low-key, low-key, sometimes I wish they never launched Reels. Sometimes I wish they never launched a lot of things that they launched on Instagram, but whatever. So, long story short, I sold the camera. I spent the money on something. I don't know what. And then Damien got me a vlogging camera because he was like, oh, well, obviously you want to vlog. Like, you're, you know, here. And here we are. I'm still vlogging. But I'm entering a mental space where not only do I want to only be involved in spaces where I am welcomed, desired, requested to be in, but I also just want to continue doing what I want to do as far as content creation is concerned. I know back in the day, like, I used to get into a bit of a funk and it, it was really because <clears throat> I wasn't getting the results that I thought I should be getting so I would ask like, what do you want to see what do you want to see and instead of doing that which I don't I haven't done in a long time um, instead of doing that I just I've just been doing what I want like I like vlogging I don't get a lot of people watching but the people who watch hey I love you, appreciate you, thank you for enjoying my shenanigans, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be where I'm wanted, I want to be where I'm desired, I want to be where I am seen and enjoyed and celebrated, like, so when it comes to whatever I'm sharing online, it's kind of just like, it's okay if this group of people whoever they are isn't into it because I still have this group of people who are including myself does that make sense I feel like I'm rambling anyway anyway I bought my camera back I got the same camera because I did some googling and I was looking for like you know the best camera to just start with because I'm literally only using this for eyeshadow pictures I'm likely going to get another lens later down the line um because I, I'm buying it refurbished. So I'm going to get another lens later down the line. It's the Nikon D3500. That is the one that I use for my macro shots back in the Dizay. And I'm getting back into it. I want to do lip swatches. I want to do eye swatches. I feel like also it's way easier on me um, in terms of when I receive products from brands. Because I don't always want to sit down and make a video and talk about it. Like everything doesn't need a video everything is not content everything is not content you know what i mean so um yeah like for example i'll get lipsticks lip glosses i can just throw that on real quick take a macro shot and post it where i feel like posting it and give my opinion my thoughts ideas combinations whatever same thing with mascaras um eyeshadow palettes because 
I'm not going to say that nobody really wants to see eyeshadow tutorials anymore. I don't think that that's true at all. I really do believe it depends on your audience. But I don't, I haven't really... You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't really gotten into making the eyeshadow tutorials again. And I think it's because I'm overthinking. When I used to film the makeup videos, I would literally sit down and be like, y'all, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but we're supposed to do something. So I got to get back into that as well. And just enjoying everything all over again. All over again. And also appreciating that I am multifaceted. I think that's the right word. <laughs> I do a little bit of everything and that's okay. I don't have to be in a genre. I don't have to be in a niche. I don't have to be in nobody's bubble or definition of what I'm creating, what I'm doing, and who I am. I'm just doing me. Period. Now let me make this burrito because I got a real distract. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm. I don't know how long I've been sitting here editing. I really, really don't know. But y'all, I have three hours worth of footage for the vlog before this one. And I'm 21 minutes in, which isn't bad. I, I don't, I mean, it's three hours worth of footage. But <laughs> I want to take a nap so bad, so bad. Like, okay, look, I have ADHD. I was diagnosed at five years old and sitting here trying to edit this vlog is making me want to go to bed. Lay down and go to bed. Like, I'm yawning. I'm yawning. This is also why I like to go outside and edit. Even though it can be a little embarrassing because some people will pull up to me and be like, hey. What are you doing on your computer? What's up? Because they know it's not business. You know, they just see video clips of somebody who looks similar to me on screen. Um, and that can be a little embarrassing. I don't care anymore, but I know for some people it can be embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I'm bored. I'm bored editing. And I want to edit. I want to get the video done. I want to upload it by the end of the week because... Duh, I'm a vlogger. <laughs> or duh, I'm a YouTuber. But it is so hard. That is the hardest part. I believe that is also why people hire editors. And I'm not going to hold you. I would probably... I, if I had the shmoney... And I knew I could trust that person not to be sending my clips nowhere or using them nowhere or, you know, because sometimes in footage you will see things or I will see things that I don't want in the vlog. Like if I ain't got no pants on or something, you know, um, whoever edits my videos, I would have to really trust them. But that's neither here nor there because I do not have the shmoney. Uh, but what I am going to do. Oh my god. Hopefully stop freaking yawning. What I am going to do is sit on this couch because I've been trying to get out of the habit of laying in my bed during the day, especially when I'm essentially stuck in the house. I'm going to sit on this couch and my makeup look good on camera. <laughs> Getting distracted. I'm going to sit on this couch and I'm just going to death scroll because I deserve I I got up, I filmed technically like three or four videos. I uploaded all this content into iMovie. I'm charging my devices. I deserve to death scroll and potentially take a nap. And then when I wake up from that nap, <sighs> I'm probably gonna wash my face because I'm not saying I don't like my makeup, but low-key, I feel like my foundation don't match. And I know that my eyelashes are not sitting the way that I want them to. And I think that's partly because my real lashes are growing. 
Now I'm rambling again. So, yep, that was just my update. When I tell y'all, I am so hot. I went outside to walk the dogs, came back up here, and got a note on my door that said that my package was not going to be delivered today. Sorry we missed you. Y'all, when I tell you I ran, I ran to go catch the FedEx man. I ran to go catch him. Okay? Because I was like, I did not pay $50 for overnight shipping just to get it tomorrow or the day after that. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure... That once you order for, uh, overnight shipping and you don't receive your package, oh, you you gonna get it when you get it. And that's it. Y'all, I'm so... <laughs> I feel like a part of me has been restored right now. And maybe I'm being dramatic. But y'all... <laughs> y'all, and they package this so well. Oh my god. I was worried that I didn't order the charger, but I do have an extra charger. Y'all look! Ah! I got my camera! I got my camera back! I'm so happy. Shout out to KEH.com. I don't know if it's pronounced key or K or whatever, but I sold them both of my cameras. Like maybe a year ago and the lens kit and um got a fair price because one of them was definitely broken but i'm supposed to they fixed it anyway i was able to basically order the same camera and the lens again so this is the lens that i use oh wait baby this is a this is a different version of the lens because look at this it got all of this on it this was oh i think i ordered the second version like the newer version of the lens that i had so i had the 18 by 55 millimeter lens and then i think this is the the, the two because it's got these on the sides i have no idea what that is vr i don't know but what i do know is get ready okay period get ready get ready get ready for the macro photos because i'm also going to get an actual macro lens so get ready get ready for the close-up photos of my eye get ready for the lip swatches get ready y'all get ready get ready get ready get ready for all of that y'all i'm so excited does this come with the battery? If not, I'm gonna have to order a darn battery. It comes with the battery. Ooh, praise y'all. Praise Jehovah. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ugh. Ugh, I'm so excited. And I still have all of the cords and stuff that I used to use um, to help me see. So I'm so happy right now. And I'm glad that the FedEx man was cool because some people would be like, nah, bro, I already marked it as I couldn't deliver it, so I'm not gonna give it to you. But he was like, hey. You ran all the way from over there to come catch me, baby. <laughs> let me get you. Let me get your camera, baby. Let me get you. Oh, yes. I'm so happy. I've been in my bed all morning just like, like, because I don't have nothing to do. Like, I could find something to do, but the weather is also not cute. <sighs> and I'm hungry as well. Um, but I'm going to go to the store in my onesie. And I'm going to get some groceries. And then I'm going to come home and make myself a burrito because I'm starving. Guess where we're at? My favorite place to get shoes. Look at how pretty these are, dude. These are so cute. And the little piercings. Y'all, I might have to get him to buy me some shoes today. <laughs> Let me show you my outfit. <gasps> these boots are calling my name. Not look like anything spectacular, but my hair looks awesome. Period. Look at how pretty. <gasps> they have bags. And 
y'all know I love me a boot baby. But I don't be wanting to tie my shoes. Oh my god. So cute. <gasps> Look at the little parts. Genuine article. That's crazy. I like these though. I feel like they would irritate my um. Well, I do need ankle support. This is cute. Are you gonna get your old ones suited up? Suit up. I'm gonna. Well, they're they're breaking apart, so I'm just gonna. Have you did you use shoe care on them? I mean, I know it's been years. Yes. Been yes. It, but yeah, that definitely helped hold them up for sure. I bet. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna staple, not staple them, but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna rivet the bottoms of them and use them for something else. Take them to a to a cobbler. Isn't that what they're called? Cobblers? People Cobblers. that fix shoes? They can't they can't fix those. They're, there's too much uh, there's too much damage on the surface. That's what I'm saying. Like they would just take the leather off and put on some different yeah. leather. Yeah. But I mean for the price of a cobbler I can just get new boots. Um. Hey y'all! I tried to record me talking about what I'm doing right now earlier, but I had the wrong memory card in and no Thanks. Anywho, I'm on my way to go deliver a package to Carrie, my friend Carrie Peran. That's her username on Instagram, Carrie Peran. Y'all, we went to, what is it called? We went to a Like to Know It event like a year ago, I want to say. And they handed out these sweaters that were being like, they stitched our names into the sweaters on site. So, um, I waited for her. They said that they would mail them, but look, being, I just didn't believe that. I didn't trust that. So, I waited for mine, and I waited for hers. And, girl, I've had her sweater since last year. So, <laughs> I'm about to give her a sweater. Um, and then I put a couple other things in the box because I get a lot of different PR, y'all know. And, baby, why not? Okay, receive free, give free, especially to the homie, period. Um, so I'm on my way to do that and it is a drive honey it's 66 degrees outside but I'm feeling toasty because I got on this Fabletics puffer jacket I also just got the oil changed in my car so my car is going per per period <laughs> but here's the thing y'all know when you go to the dealership they always like hey by the way you got all these other things you need to fix so they told me, yeah, your oil change is going to be $77, but you need a total of $500 worth of work. I said, oh, no, baby. Not today. Not today. Apparently, I need to get my tires aligned in the front because they're they bow leggy, apparently, which I didn't notice, but their machine did. And um, then they were talking about the cabin air filter and, like, a fuel system thing which if I remember correctly the fuel system thing is just like a bottle of a chemical that they pour into your gas tank then there was a cooling system like maintenance thing that was probably like $170 or something I should have screenshot it so I knew how much the prices were but I didn't and the cabin air filter I could do myself I'm pretty sure I could take the tires, the wheels to get aligned anywhere because quite frankly I don't think there's any reason why it should cost a hundred and something dollars for me to get. I don't want it to cost that much. Okay and the dealership does charge more. <sighs> so I'm going to do the air filters myself because I know how to do them and then everything else But first, yeah, I'm going to go take care of this package, and then I need to see when my nieces, um, I'm going to pick up my nieces and take them back to the house, because, you know, some, every now and then, kids just need a break, you know, from their people, and 
as someone who's not too far off from having been a young nugget myself, I understand, I understand needing a break from your people, your parents. So I'm going to go get all three of them, the older ones. I do have other nieces, but they're like toddlers and stuff. And I don't know their mamas, so I don't see them. Just be like that. Anyway, I was also editing the vlog at the dealership, y'all. And I started to realize because I have so much footage, like this go around for the last vlog that I'm uploading, or maybe, yeah, for the last vlog, I have so much footage that I need to sort of nitpick more. Like, I used to just include nearly everything that I do in my vlogs, but now I don't really have to because I vlog so freaking much, I can just put the highlights in the vlog and that's enough, which is good. But it's also bad because then I have to go through three hours of footage. <laughs> all day. Y'all look at all these children. Baby. Now the kids has to run. Looks like the first stop. Otherwise we would have to stop. It looks like he's about to be the new wide and save you all. Wow. Oh wow. Yes, ma'am. Girl, I got me a hot link, baby. You finna be where you was at earlier? Yeah. Okay. I got me a hot link, baby, and some chips, baby. Oh, wait. Let me be in the vlog. Yeah, look at this. Okay. Hey, oh, let me get the sign, though. Okay. <laughs> okay, vlog. Um, I got third place in my race. You know what I'm saying? Nothing much. Yeah, I could have done better. I'm on my cycle, so, you know, I wasn't zooming for real. That's but all it's right. But it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. High jump. Poochies, man. I'll do better next time, though. <laughs> Y'all is right. I didn't get to see her run, but it's all right. It's all right. As long as she having fun, right? Period. Hair all over the freaking place too. But anyway, one thing I do miss about living in, in uh where I'm at, cause I'm not gonna tell y'all, but is the community, kind of sort of. Thirties. Hi vlog. We're out and about here. We went to another tea shop on Greenville, but they freaking, they were packed. So, now we're here. Future content creators. Oh my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna get our bubba and then we're gonna go to the mall. And we're gonna run around the mall, y'all. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? And I was like, Mama, let me see your Oh my god. Oh my god. But yeah, it was all. I, I like this one, so I was getting that. Let's see what y'all got. Oh. We just came from the Lego store. I just got Miles Morales because I love Spider Man. <laughs> and me and London got matching tulips. So cute. I want the rose set, like the rose cake. I want that really. Are y'all excited to puzzle together? Yeah. To Lego, 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 Lego. <laughs> Lego. <laughs> All right, where y'all want to go next? I'm a Barbie girl. Well, y'all decided. I'm just tagging along. And if I see a present, so right now I'm actually getting gifts for Damien. Our dating anniversary is coming up. How many? How many days is it? <gasps> seven days. In seven days, our dating anniversary will be here. So I'm gonna make a whole big deal out of it. Matter of fact, let me make sure it's not on a day where he would go hang out with his friends. It's not! <laughs> Wait, wrong day. Oh crap, it is. Hey. Today is the second. So yeah, I'm just going where they wanna go. We having a good time. Lokia wants a free ice cream, but I don't want to wait in line. I should have brought my um my eye cream because look who has taken over the mall, y'all. Elemis, Elemis. I don't know how to say Elemis. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's Elemis. Swarovski. Oh yeah. Now their jewelry pieces are fun. This is what the girl 
girls be putting on their nails, y'all. I'm sure they wouldn't mind y'all going in and looking, but the window is great, too. So sparkly. Look at the cute little teddy bear. Oh my God, that is so cute. The craziest part is, this is literally glass. Glass. If I'm not mistaken, crystal is just glass. It's like a stronger version of glass, but it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ever, you ever had an old person be like, these are my crystal champagne glasses, my crystal plate. You know, it's literally just fancy glass. I know where we're going next, so we'll see. We'll see. without saying you on the spectrum. Y'all over here stimming with the jelly. When I first when I first touched I didn't know it would be like that. I touched it like that. You know very well they don't cut these and give them to people. Wobble dee wobble dee wobble wobble wobble. You gotta have some, you gotta style them, make them look good. These like, look like a person named Miss Gordon. 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 Yeah, we at Zara having a blast. Looking at stuff, looking at the price. Today we learned that when a product is imported from another country, it's going to cost more. That's what we learned today. Which is why when you see price tags at Zara, one says UK, that's cheap, and the other says US is more. You don't say what kind of product it is? It's these ones. Oh, you be out here. Mm -hmm. You be out here with your daddy, huh? Oh, no. They said they're going to pop a I'm good. <laughs> she said we should eat these. Who's we? I said you. Oh, <laughs> no, girl. I'm going to do crickets. Ew. I've had those before. <laughs> they're nasty as hell. I'm dead. Let me ask Damien what his favorite candy is, because I really don't know. Wee. So the game is you're going to pronounce every brand that we walk by. What's that one over there? I can't remember. Ferragamo. Ferragamo. What about this one? Say that one. Say that one. Uh, East Saint Laurent. Oh, I feel like okay. in the like, Parisian language Gucci. you don't pronounce the T. Gucci. Now say that one. Okay. You might be broke, but your vocabulary ain't. Uh -huh. <laughs> what you want, Nelly? What you want? You trying to go? She listening for me to say a word she knows. Oh, we can't do that. I gotta make food. <laughs> Gotta make food. She said, "What she? I heard you got some some meat. You heard I got some meat, Nelly. Check it out, y'all. Cause it make burgers. Wow, you did it so fast. Was it worth the money you spent? Yeah. Where you gonna put them? Where they not gonna break if you lost? Uh, probably in a like a little. I have a little thingy I have. I don't put them in there. Yeah. It's like a mug. Ours used to have it brown. I was gonna say if you want a vase, we got one. Hello vlog. It's the next day. And I'm making pancakes. Right now, um, I'm just make, mixing, whisking all of my dry ingredients together. And then I'm going to add the milk and the butter. I'm glad I actually still have some milk left because I ain't going to hold y'all. I'll be forgetting that it's there. So I found a recipe on Google and I just, only thing I adjusted was the amount of baking powder because I like for my pancakes to be a little skinny. Just realized I should start putting my batter in this so I can just pour it out so much easier. I think, I hope it's so much easier. We'll go see. Okay. 
so much easier. <laughs> hey y'all, the children are gone. Look at Damien. Where are the children? What children? The children are gone. <laughs> but, I mean, did you have fun? Yeah, we had fun with them. I had fun with them. We went to the mall and all that stuff. So Y'all saw what we did. It was fun. It was cute. And I'm always down for having my nieces. Oops, hold on. For having my nieces. As long as we got something to do and stuff to feed them with. Because there's nothing worse than a grumpy, hungry teenager. Anyway, so we came home from taking them home, and I made spaghetti. Let me tell y'all something. Unless I absolutely remember a recipe, I always Google it first. I either Google it or I go on Pinterest, which is basically Google for photos, right? And I looked at two different recipes because usually the, re the regular recipes tell me to make a sauce. I buy tomato paste. I don't buy tomato sauce. I mean, and I don't have all day to be trying to make sauce. So, I put some sausage in there. So, I did onions and dewy sausage, sizzled that up. Then, I added red bell pepper, garlic, sizzled that a little bit. And then, I spread it around the skillet, turned the eye down. And then, I put my beef, like some beef in the middle, seasoned that with salt, pressed it out. Then, I started to add all my seasonings, which was garlic powder, onion powder, fennel, paprika, because I like for my meat to look red. Paprika, which is just dried up bell pepper anyway. Paprika, uh, rosemary, thyme, and basil. And then I used vegetable broth and a whole small can of um, tomato paste. Y'all, I tasted the sauce because I t spaghetti is one of those things that has always been complicated for me um, for whatever reason. But today... Today, that is not the case. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. You see the steam? You see the steam? Hold on. You see the steam? You see the steam? Mmm. Mmm, so good. And the sausage has like a little twist to it. I love this so much. Anyway, y'all should look up the TikTok of that lady talking about, there's a black woman. She was talking about why black people make spaghetti, the history behind it. Look it up. But, see y'all there. I'm so glad I put my camera settings on auto because before when I would be sitting in uh, the parking garage, y'all cannot see me like whatsoever. <laughs> um, it might be where I'm parked too because I don't know, the lights seem brighter. I don't know. Anyway, y'all, today is... Wait, what do you have to do? Look at my phone. I know today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, March the 5th, um, and I'm about to go run some errands, excuse me, most of which is just buying groceries. So we have two Visa gift cards and two Target gift cards. I'm going to use those to buy everything we need, and I'm going to start with Target because I feel like Target is... When it comes to gift cards, Target is difficult because there's so many things that I normally wouldn't buy at Target, you know what I mean? So I, when I go in there, I'm looking for something very specific that I've seen on the app that says it's in stock, you know what I mean? Like, I don't be going in Target like that. Um, yeah, so... Let's see. So we're going to go to Target, Walmart, um, the Mexican grocery store. And I'm saying Mexican because I'm in Texas and it don't say any other nationality on the building. And other Mexicans say it's the Mexican super supermarket. So I'm going there. And then I'm, I'm probably going to go to Aldi too because um, they have fruits and vegetables that be really freaking cheap. And... We eat our food very fast anyway, so it's like, 
you know. But anyway, look at my skin, y'all. Y'all, my skin looks so good. Last night I posted my skincare. And I was like, look at all the skincare that I'm using. This is what I'm using for my face, neck, and my body. And then I just put on this sunscreen. Which I need to re-educate myself. So I put on, is it focusing? I put on this sunscreen, which is a sunscreen I've been wearing since forever and forever. And y'all, my skin look good. But let me focus and listen to my music because, yeah. <laughs> okay, as usual, I forgot to film. I was in the store, but I got everything. Except a couple of things because it wasn't available. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away and make something to eat because I only had a banana and it is 12 14. Hey y'all. I just got the rest of my agua piña, which I was asked to make a video, a tutorial of how I do it. So I did buy another pineapple. Um, but but they didn't have any more dragon fruit at the store so it's gonna be without the dragon fruit i hope that's okay um anyway i have just been cleaning today and getting some food ready for dinner <sighs> y'all my hair is down like this because uh, earlier today I was feeling through my hair like I do every day touching my scalp and why did I find these like giant chunky scabs I was just like oh, pardon me <laughs> and I pulled them obviously because I wanted to see and um, basically this it was like buildup of this on my scalp but the rest of my head didn't have any scabs um, and I didn't use a lot of products. I don't know what it was, but the crown of my head where the scabs were was tender. So I think I just found another one. Okay. No, I didn't, but yeah. So dealing with that. And then y'all, I started on our taxes. I did mine first, which I should have did his first, but I did mine first. And y'all, oh, I'm not happy with myself i don't want to blame the government <laughs> because i knew that i was making um a lot of money on a sole proprietor sole proprietorship so like me being a content creator and me doing nails right i knew that i was making money like that and instead of me being smart enough to put money to the side and really you know, pay my quarterly tax fees and all that stuff. I did not do that. I did not. So now I owe quite a bit of money. I will say this though. I hate how complicated taxes are and I hate how tax experts make it sound like it's not. Because really it's this. You made some money. You pay some money right right if you don't pay the money you owe the money very simple they got i think i need to add some water to this i added ice but i think i need to add some water they got deductions credits this that and the third i'm like and then the websites where you can do your taxes for free through irs.gov some of them ain't free like you get on there and they be like oh girl you work for yourself oh we for to charge you which to me is crazy because it's like and obviously there is a difference but kind of like what's the difference between me filing my taxes and somebody who works for a corporation or a business as an employee they get all their taxes taken out for them, yada yada whoop de woo. Like, and y'all gonna tell me how much I owe anyway. So why are you charging me more? Like, I don't understand. Mm. It's just dumb. 
It's dumb. It's a lot of work. Makes me mad. Makes me want to eat Doritos. Makes me want to drink agua piña. So I'm hoping that because Damien and I are filing jointly as a married couple, that it'll reduce what I owe. But I have a feeling that that's not going to I have a feeling that's not gonna happen because he works for a company and for the most part I don't so unless you're willing to spend and invest in yourself in a bunch of different ways tax season is one of the downsides to working as a sole proprietor and I have to be honest with y'all if I could if I could work from home, or not even work from home, if I could work remotely, right? If I could work remotely, basically make my own schedule, and not have to go into the office, like not really, I would do, I would do the job, whatever it is. But I find that a lot of the time those jobs either require education that I don't have want or need <laughs> and or knowing somebody who knows somebody but yeah so I'm big chilling now I'm kind of bored okay y'all tell me why Damien bought this and I didn't try it because it says chili on it I don't know why I convinced myself that it wouldn't be good but I'm gonna pour myself. I wanna say this is technically two glasses. Ooh. <coughs> and y'all know I made tacos yesterday, so I changed them. Okay, so we got lettuce, the chicken that I made yesterday, some cotijo or cojito. I think it's cojito cheese. And then I also made some chunky avocado salsa. Mm -hmm. I will never, ever be sick of tacos. There are too many ways to make them. Also, this is good. Pineapple and chili. It's semi-sweet. Mm. This is really good. I'm only gonna have one glass though, or one, two glasses. <laughs> because I'm the kind of person who, if I have too much wine, I don't be getting silly like other people. I get sick, so. <laughs> Eat my taco. Mm. Mm. And get ready for the meeting. Period. Hi vlog. I have to come out of the room because I'm listening to music, but the vlog cannot listen to music. At least not for real, for real. Um, today is. Hold on, I'm gonna just There we go. Today is March the 10th. <clears throat> it's Sunday, y'all, and I literally just got up. I am. I'm not tired, but I think I'm on the verge of being well rested. I recently read that, or not read, I recently saw a doctor talking about how women need 10 plus hours of sleep and not 8. Um, and that's just because, you know, a lot of what's understood in the medical field generally was tested on and understood for men. And they just applied it to women, so... Excuse me. I've been trying to get into the habit of sleeping more. But I do need to stop eating sugar before I go to bed. I really need to stop doing that. So, like I was saying, I'm actually on my way to go get food for the cats. Yesterday they had 
um, tuna, tuna, and then Sasan had an egg with her tuna. Typically, I do like to give them actual fish, fish during the week, so it'll be tuna, it'll be salmon. I don't do uh, raw chicken. I know some people do raw chicken with their cats, but I don't do raw chicken because if one of them decides to pick it up and run away with it, <laughs> aka Onyx, the kitten, then that's salmonella all over my house and I don't want that. Anyway, I'm dragging out this silk press though, like, get into it. I've had this silk press for a month now and my roots, then you can see the hair near, or not my roots, the hair near my scalp is curled up for sure, but the rest, She's giving, I'm not going to bounce back until you say so. <laughs> so let me wash my hands because I need to put on some sunscreen. What else is happening? Um, I have all my retainers. I need to put on sunscreen because I just started using Shawnee Darden's products. I have another bottle and then I have a mask. I just started using her products. Um, and I used a retinol. I think this is a legitimate retinol. Retinol reform, smooth fine lines, firm and brighten. I used to use, what's that a retinol? I think I used to use a retinol from the same company that makes the lactic acid serum that I like. But something about this makes me feel like this is going to be a little bit more precise. It doesn't have the percentage on there. Uh... Yeah, it doesn't have the percentage on there, but even their rep was like, hey girl, just make sure you put on your sunscreen. So I'm going to do that as well. And this is my sunscreen. Y'all, as far as I know, my Tula discount code still works and I do get money from it if you buy something from their website. So need any recommendations, I let me know. <laughs> I like to take half and put it on my face and the other half and put it on my neck. Because I know that um, there's an esthetician. I think she works out of California and everybody, she came up with the two finger rule and everybody followed because she's a, you know, she has a good reputation for what she does and she's also black. But when I put two fingers worth of sunscreen on my whole face, it's always too much for me. And it might be because my face is not, like, I don't have, like, a, a big face. <laughs> no offense to anybody who does. But I just don't need that much sunscreen. So I put half of it on my neck, my ears, and then the rest of it on my face. Pretty good coverage. And this is a... Uh-uh-uh-uh. I don't know if this is a, it says UVA, UVB protection. It has a avobenzone, avobenzone, and homosalate, homosalate, and octisalate. Hopefully I said those right. Those are the active ingredients. Yeah. I don't know if this is a mineral sunscreen or a chemical sunscreen. I'll have to email them and ask, but... This sunscreen, single-handedly, like, I wore it for, I want to say two, three years straight. My skin was so freaking even. It was ridiculous. The only thing I can't manage to get rid of is these lines around my mouth. Like, I, I would really love to even that part of my skin out. And I think I have to get a chemical feel for that, which I don't want to do. Anyway, so, again, I cannot see y'all. Today's outfit is a pretty little thing. Um, <clears throat> so, jacket from Pretty Little Thing. This is from Hot Topic from years ago. And then I have on these pants. I don't know where I got these. I think I got these pants at a thrift store. <laughs> They're called lofts. 
something. I think it's Loft New York. I think I got these at a thrift store though. But yeah. And then I'm just going to put on... What should I put on? This is when wearing shoes that are... Um, what's the word? Wearing shoes that just slip on make me so happy. <laughs> Ooh, okay. As tacky as it's going to look because... I guess not. I don't know. I'm going to put on my boots. I have had these boots since I was 14 years old. These boots have survived moves, water, I don't even know. Unissa? Unissa? You don't see that? There's dirt on there. I've had these since I was 14. And when I first got them, I was so excited. And part of me feels like the reason why I wanted the boots is because I would see so many other people with boots. And I'm like, I don't have any. Like, I'm from Texas. Why don't I have any boots? Girl, so I got these boots. They were $99. I'll never forget. And my mom was like, are you sure you want them? Because she, like, we didn't have a lot of money. And she was like, this is what you want. You want boots and freaking converse and i was like yeah and to this day i still have every pair of converse these boots except one pair of converse anyway let's go y'all <laughs> i wish i brought my tripod because i've been thinking about being one of those people who just unapologetically vlogs like they're on a TV show. <laughs> I feel like I'm almost there though. Okay, let's get this bad boot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Salmon. Salmon or please. Salmon or chicken. And then I do need to get something for Onyx because she is still a kitten. a pretty day outside like such a pretty day I haven't been um what you call it I haven't been <laughs> I haven't been outside of my car outside outside but the sun being out makes me feel so good <sighs> as much as I try not to be one of those people who gets affected by the weather I really really am and what's interesting to me is I will know that the weather is not good outside before I open the windows or like open the I will know it'll I just feel it and I don't know what that is I don't know if Jehovah created us to just be aware I feel like there's a lot of things that we don't understand as human beings like there's a lot of things we don't understand that we're connected to and why but it's so like you see me squinting y'all the sun is out baby the sun is out <sighs> let me roll down my window and see it's not even that cold it's not that cold at all actually anyway I got the cat food um, I feel like I should still be getting Onyx. Here, let me put my sunglasses on. Cause good. <laughs> I feel like I should still be getting Onyx kitten food because she's so small, and I don't want her eating big pieces of grain or dry kibble, as they call it. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, so let me go this way. I don't want her eating big pieces of kibble because. You know, I did my research and pretty much cats and dogs are not supposed to have bread. Um, I think cats specifically cannot digest it. So, yeah. 
with that being said, I like to give them, you know, kibble and I like to give them meat. If we have meat for them to eat, I will give it to them every day. Otherwise, I'll mix their kibble with some water because kibble is dry. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm on my way back home. I'm going to do my makeup for the Kingdom Hall. I haven't done that in so long. But the last um, week or so, I've been getting into the habit of doing my makeup for real. Like, recording me doing my makeup, taking pictures since I got my camera back. And when I tell you, I'm as of yesterday, I started to feel the urge to do my makeup again. And I'm so happy because... Having ADHD, I get fixated on things, and if I'm good at it and I enjoy it, I will do it for a long, like a prolonged period of time, and then I'll get interested in other things, but I, I don't like when the things that I enjoyed beforehand get dropped off because it feels as if I've forgotten how to do them, and then I get, I get a little insecure, like admittedly, and I know I'm not the only one because I'm, you know, I'm doing it or I want to do it again and then I start and I just, I don't have the energy. I don't feel the motivation. It's just not there. You know what I'm saying? But I know that, you know, if I do it a few times, I'll get the hang of it again and then I'm good to go. So, I'm really happy about that. I have an urge to buy a smoothie. Y'all let me know. Has Smoothie King been okay with y'all? Because every time I go get Smoothie King, I get sick. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Like, I get a sour stomach and I get sick. Maybe it's too much sugar or something. I don't know. Anywho. So, yeah. I'm going to do my makeup for the meeting. I'm so excited. I'm thinking... Because y'all know I don't really wear color like that. So, I'm thinking... I want to do... The first thing that came to mind was purple. But I was just like... No. I did that a couple days ago. So, what I'm thinking is... Or what I was thinking was neutrals. Because, you know, neutrals are nice. I want some sparkle, of course. But now that I've dismissed purple on camera, I'm thinking orange. Orange. Warm tones. It's it's spring, okay? With some peachy gold or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I will say this. I love that all of the girlies on Instagram are getting back into... I love that all the girlies on Instagram are getting back into their colorful bag. We are in the house, okay? This is our house, like Beyonce said, and we doing the darn thing. So I'm back for the meeting, and Damien is gone because he's going to record his podcast um, with his friends. But, y'all, why do I look like one of those moms from the sitcoms in the 90s or the, in the early 2000s? Like with the bang. They always had the bang that was practically frozen in place. The black ones. I'm talking about the black ones. Baby, I look good. And this is one month into the silk press, baby. I did have my ends were curling up at my, on the hair of my nape. But that's because last night I slept without my bonnet. And then I ate a pint of ice cream. And then I fell asleep. And I was sweating in my sleep because I ate that sugar before I went to sleep. So, but I fixed it. I just flat ironed those pieces. And girl, I look, <laughs> I look good, girl. So anyway, I'm getting ready to eat one of my favorite snacks as a kid. And Totino's, Totino's pizza. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Um, And I'm going to chill. I was thinking about taking a picture of this eyeshadow look, though, since I got it on. Like, I might as well break. But I don't have anything else to do other than that. So, I'm going to, for the first time in forever, in this vlog right here. <laughs> because I don't have nothing else going on. I'm in the vlog right here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Our follower count has gone up, baby. I think we're at 7,200. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Yes, yes, y'all. We are at 7,201 subscribers Yee! on the road to 10,000. That's my goal for this year. I'm going to do my best 
to keep everybody entertained, to be consistent, and all of that jazz. Please, if you're not subscribed, even if you think you subscribe because my videos be popping up on the suggestions page on your home page, make sure you subscribe, please, and drop a comment. Okay, let me know you in the building. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>